I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the Vietnam Veterans News Podcast. News of interest about Vietnam veterans from a Vietnam veteran. Now, here's your host, Mac Payne. This is Mac Payne with episode 1797 of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast. News about the Vietnam War and the brave veterans who served there, as told to you by yours truly, a Vietnam veteran. This episode today is brought to you by Legacy Staffs, which are crafted by the Brazos Walking Stick Company out in Waco, Texas. You can go to brazosticks.com and use my name, Mac Payne, one word, at the checkout and get a tremendous 10% discount off your next order of the Legacy Staff or cane of your own design. You did note, I said, of your own design. That's right. Brazos Walking Sticks Company does not sell standard off-the-shelf sticks and staffs. Everybody who buys something from the Brazos Walking Stick Company will receive a custom-made product created just for them. You can select a color. You can select a shape. You can select a decal to put on it. You can specify the writing you want it with your name, your unit, when you got back from Vietnam, when you got married, whatever you want to put on it. They are custom designed for each customer. Do yourself a favor. Go over to BrazosSticks.com, the website. Look at all the things they have to offer. Buy something, and when you're checking out, put my name, Mac Payne, one word, into the checkout box and you'll get that 10% discount. It's a great thing. Don't let this wonderful offer get by you. In this episode today, I come to you with a happy story. There's so many terrible things in the news today. I think it's time we wash out our ears with something good. This is a story about some Marine Vietnam veterans who were in a special unit over there in Vietnam called the Amtrak Platoon, they still get together to this very day. Recently, they had to get together up in the great state of South Dakota, right there in the shadows of Mount Rushmore. There was a story about this group of Vietnam veterans and what they continue to do to stay in touch in the Minot Daily News. Title of the story was Amtrak Platoon Buddies Reunite. The story was provided by Eloise Ogden. I'm going to share that story with you so it will help wipe out some of the bad news that keeps cascading down on us these days. I do hope you had the opportunity to listen to episode 179 or 5 of this podcast and listen to the wonderful advice that I gave to everybody there. It was titled, A Vietnam Vet's COVID-19 Advice. It gives you some hints in how to survive the situation we're in today. The key word to the advice I presented in episode 179 or 5 was perspective. If you have a case of the COVID-1984 blues, please go back and listen to episode 179 or 5 of this podcast. You will find it everywhere, but the easiest way is to go to the podcast website, vietnamveteranews.com. Scroll down to 1795, and there you will see a disturbed young man, all afraid because of all the bad news that's coming his way. And then you will hear my advice that will help take away all those blues and help you make it into the future. Right now, I'm going to share this story with you about this group of Marine Vietnam veterans who are still getting together all these years later. I think it is a wonderful thing these guys are doing. I hope every Vietnam veteran that hears this story will make an effort to get in touch with some of your buddies from your old unit back there in Vietnam. 
Some of you may not want to do that, but go ahead and do it anyway. It'll do you good. All right, let's take a look at this story about the Amtrak platoon buddies getting back together. Dateline, Mount Rushmore, South Dakota. More than 50 years ago, members of the U.S. Marine Corps Amtrak platoon were hauling supplies, transporting the wounded, and just about anything else in Vietnam. The unit may have been one of the most decorated non-infantry units in the Marine Corps during the Vietnam War, although it existed only three years. Called Amgrunts, Members took part in numerous amphibious operations and other combat operations in the field. From July the 9th through the 12th, former members of the Amtrak platoon, including two from North Dakota, Austin Gillette of White Shield and Vern Jugstad of Mandan, met for a reunion in the Black Hills in South Dakota. With family and friends, Gillette said about 20 people attended the weekend event, reminiscing and touring Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse Memorial. Grandsons of two of the Amtrak platoon members, Gillette's grandson Anthony of Rosebud, South Dakota, and Mike Graff's grandson Cole also joined the group. On Saturday, he said the group held a remembrance for two platoon members who have passed away recently, Ed Stroman of South Carolina and Gene Gwynn of Oklahoma, Their obituaries were read during the remembrance. Amtrak platoon members held their first reunion in 1991 in Washington, D.C. Members have held reunions at the Fort Berthold Reservation in North Dakota and other areas of the country. A 40th anniversary gathering in North Dakota in 2008, including a welcome home ceremony for them held at the White Shield Celebration, the powwow held in that community. It is believed the Amtrak platoon is the only platoon in the U.S. Marines that is still getting together for reunions. Herman Hargett of St. Louis County, Missouri, had never been to a reunion until the recent one in South Dakota. He and the members had lost contact with each other for a time. It meant a lot to me, he said. I hadn't seen these guys since 1969. I didn't realize how much I missed seeing them. It was great to see them. That statement right there is a reason all Vietnam veterans should make an attempt to get together with their former buddies over there in Vietnam. Continuing, the platoon existed from 1967 through 1969, then was reassigned and sent to other units in the Marine Corps. The platoons were first attached to the 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines, and later assigned to the 1st Battalion, 26th Marines, and the 2nd Battalion, 26th Marines. Hargett said he, Gillette, and some others were track vehicle repairmen. Some drove, some were crew chiefs and machine gunners, he said. Amtrak was the amphibious armed personnel carrier for the Marines, Hargett said. He said they were on the river and on land ferrying troops and hauling supplies in northern South Vietnam. We were real close to the DMZ. He said there were probably 10 to 12 tracks and about three guys per track. Hargett returned home from Vietnam in February of 1969. Everyone had a 13-month tour, although some extended their tour. I came home the end of March 1969, Gillette said. Mike Graff of McDermott, Ohio, an original Amtrak crewman, returned home in December of 1968. The platoon took part in many battles, including one of the most significant and deadly battles of the Vietnam War. The Battle of Dao Do in 1968. Outnumbered by North Vietnamese troops, 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines stopped the North Vietnamese Army's push into Quang Tri province in that battle. The main thing to take away from the story of the Battle of Dao Do is that 81 Marines died in that battle, and the body count of the NVA was 639. That means, more than likely, the Marines dispatched more than 1,200 NVA to the big rice paddy in the sky because the NVA had a habit of pulling their own dead bodies off the battlefield because they realized 
they realized they were fighting more than just a military war. They were also fighting a PR war, and they knew the news people were counting bodies. If they left 12 to 1,500 bodies out on the battlefield, it wouldn't look good for them. Got to hand it to those little guys. They were well-versed in the PR war we were fighting. The long and short of the Battle of Dao Do is that the Marines kicked the NVA's butt. That's all you need to know about it. Some of these guys who were at this reunion were involved in it. Continuing with the story. Amtrak platoon members hold reunions about every two years at various locations around the country. Graf said he and his wife were going to attend the powwow in White Shield this year, but when the powwow was canceled, they decided to go to Rapid City, South Dakota, where Gillette and a few others were going to be getting together. Soon, other platoon members learned about their plans and joined in for a reunion. Graf's made this statement about their reunions. It's a statement about the reality of life. He said, Every get-together we have is very important. We know we're all getting up in years. That's right. All Vietnam veterans are getting a little long in the tooth, so we need to get a few things done. One of those is to go to reunions of your old unit in Vietnam. Meet up with some of these guys. Two years ago, I met up with two guys from my old unit in the 101st Airborne Division, and it had a life-changing effect on me. For the good, that is. The story ends with this notice. The platoon's next reunion is being planned for 2022 in Fort Wayne, Indiana, with Les Marks of Indiana as host. Make a note of that. Les Marks will be running your next reunion. I encourage every member of the Marine Amtrak platoon that served in Vietnam to make an effort to get to that next reunion in Fort Wayne in 2022. I guarantee you it'll do you some good. That's the story coming out of Rapid City, South Dakota, right next to Mount Rushmore. It is a wonderful thing that these guys did, making the effort to get together after all these years. It does a lot for you to do that. So, again, Vietnam veterans, make an effort to go to reunions of your old units from Vietnam. If you haven't done so yet, I think you'll be very surprised at how much you will enjoy it. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. This is Mac Payne closing out episode 1797 of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast. Thank you so much for coming to listen to these stories. You are cordially invited to return again soon and often to listen to more that will be coming your way on this podcast, the Vietnam Veteran News. How about that? Ain't that a mess?